My name is Ryan Mobley. I'm the agronomics production specialist here at Rockaway. And today I'm going to give you a few tips and some training for our mixing and application of our PGR products. So the first thing that we always want to be aware of when we're handling our chemicals is our protective equipment. We've got to make sure that we're wearing our long sleeves, our long pants, and we want to make sure that we're using the proper thickness of gloves provided by the company. So now that we have our gloves on, the first thing we need to do is determine how much of our finished mix that we want in the backpack. So our backpacks are marked here, one, two, three, four gallons max. Today we're only going to be mixing for two gallons. That's the amount of product that we need. So the first thing we're going to do is add half of our finished volume of water into the backpack first. We're going for a two gallon mix. So the first thing we need to do is add one gallon of water to our backpack before we mix our chemicals in. So we have our water jugs, they're delabeled and sanitized, just regular water in here for use in filling your backpacks. So we'll go for that one gallon mark. So now that we have our one gallon in here, we'll turn to our product. The PGR that we're currently using is Atromec. It's done very well for us and with our continued treatments, it only gets better results. So our normal rate for Atromec across all of our plants will be two and a half ounces per gallon of mix that we're going for. So today with our two gallon mix that is our target, we're going to need to use five ounces of Atromec to get the solution that we're looking for. So what we'll do is use our little eight ounce measuring cup. We'll find the five on our measuring cup and that's going to be our target for mixing the chemical in. So we'll open up this fresh bottle here and you want to make sure that you're being very careful. The liquid is not very thick for most of our chemicals so there might be some spilling. So again with a fresh bottle you want to make sure that you're doing all that you can to minimize your spillage and saving the product here. So we're going for that five ounce target So we have five ounces of our Atromec going into our one gallon, which is a half filled up to our target. Make sure we get as much of the drips out as we, as we can. And so the reason that we use half of our water before we add in our concentrate is that you don't want a concentrate to go right down to the pump in the bottom of your backpack first. That will mess up your finished mix and you will be blasting out concentrate out of your wand instead of your finished mix, which can cause different types of issues and damage to the foliage of the plant. So now that we have our one gallon, which is half of our final mix, we have our concentrate of our PGR, Atromec, in the bag, we're gonna finish with another gallon to get the two gallon total that we're looking for. So you see we have right here, we filled up to our two gallon line. We're trying to be as accurate as we can be to that two gallons, but there is a tolerance of roughly 10%. So if you're a tiny bit under or a tiny bit over with a heavy hand on the water portion, it's not a big deal. We're right there at our mark. So now we have our finished mix here. We can go ahead and put the lid back on our backpack. And what I like to do as well is give it a little bit of a shake the pouring of the second half of your water into your mix does a lot of the agitation for you and gets a lot of the mixing done. But for a little extra measure, you can give the backpack a bit of a tilt back and forth because we want that mix to be as consistent as it possibly can so we're not under or over applying to our plants. So the last thing we want to do when we're mixing is just give a visual inspection of the backpack, make sure that there's not any of the mix leaking out all of your connections are good. Everything on the wand is nice and tight. And on these flow zone backpacks that we use for our PGR, we have a pressure selector. What we like to do out of our five settings is we'll click it over twice to setting two, which gives you the proper output for the coverage that we're looking for. And then your application is just a trigger pull away. 
So after the visual inspection of your backpack, you want to make sure that all of your lids on all of your containers are tight to prevent any sort of spillage while they're in storage. So make sure you take your chemical, lock it back up in your toolbox, and make sure that your water jugs are in a spot where they're not going to flop around in the bed of the truck. We want to make sure that these things are taken care of. Same thing with the backpacks. We want to make sure that we're putting them secured onto the racks and they're not flailing around causing any extra damage to our backpacks.